not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. This is right after you know the other one for me. Wait. Oh, there's different choices, and I chose the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, sorry if the last episode was super boring. Those of you that want just gameplay instead of uh, story. I'm kind of feeling the same way, considering I have such a limited amount of time to play. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Got yeah. How's the ship? Is Liam the already there? Looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Yeah, I really don't see the ponytail being terribly comfortable under the helmet. There's gonna be a rust bucket. They call her the Tempest. I don't remember what the ship looked like from the de or from the trailers. It isn't Cerberus colors looks like, so yeah. Fancy looking. Let's go take a closer look. Did let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. Did the Normandy ever land? Like, did it ever need they to use landing gear? Everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Is she the Turian party? Are we ready? Member? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Punch him. Punch him. Then, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. They're probably on the Ark, right? Done. Addison's gonna kill me. Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was going to have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Returning bird-based? I'm not just talking about it. I don't remember. It's like Krogans are fish-based. Orcha insect. I don't know. So I remember Javik talking about Solarians being amphibians. Like basically frogs or salamanders or something. Or the equivalent. That loading indicator actually is kind of Lads, mesmerizing. Sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. <laughs> The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. 
And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science. So I guess everyone on the initiative knows about the AI we brought along. Because nobody's saying anything unless they think it's a VI. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Boss one. Check these toys. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship. But it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. Surprised they didn't test it, at least. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds, and we'll beat them again. You know it, I know it, so let's show them what we've got. I wonder if the fact that the human arc had an AI on it is the reason that it actually like, made it without any serious issues. Until they hit the cloud. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Then without mass relays, I wonder how much of the galaxy we can actually... Habitat one. Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Is this the galaxy? How are we getting over here without mass relays? So it's it says there's something there, but it's not like giving me a indication. If that makes any kind of sense. System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat One. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why does Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Sure. Well, like, even at faster than light speed, it should take, I mean... I guess I don't know exactly how much faster than light they can go. That's a huge trip.
Oh. Planet scanning. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no. This is going to be annoying to have to scan so far. Yeah, I don't know how to melee. AR Heavy Magazine, 30% clip size, okay. Sniper rifles or shotguns. Do I have a different pistol? Oh yeah, that that looks like the Tempest submachine gun from. Yeah, it does half the damage per hit though. I've already got the assault rifle for scatter shot. Looks like I picked up more armor. Why was it telling me there were more options there? Sure. I'm probably never going to remember to use consumables. So, whatever. Was there not an option to do it for the teammates, or did I just miss it? Hello? Alright. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. So instead of, like, polarizing the window or something... She's not even shading her eyes from the sun. people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No, I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things. Other than Sam. No, oh, that's great to admit. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. And Harry Potter is like, yeah, even in the Wizarding World, hearing voices isn't Take us down. a good thing. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Of course, she's Scottish. I didn't even make the Core is hot. connection till now. So I don't watch any Star Trek. Got this, right? Hell. Did her lips move? Did it glitch somehow? There. Set us down at this nav point. I would think the th thrusters up front would be spread out a little more. I was putting a little too much thrust on... I don't know. Yeah, that's the frame rate. I'm seeing it too. How to even start? 
Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EO is like Habitat 7, that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost antenna to track it down. This analysis provides on. us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. If they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Uh, okay. Got a code lock key. That should help get us. Uh, unfortunately, I might have to turn down the uh, graphic settings to get my computer to run this. Well, Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Maybe I'll just get it on Xbox. I don't know. Okay, I guess I can't change any of that. Yeah, it says auto detect and it you know, detected what it thought I could run, but it's still gimpy. Wonder if it's just um main door had power but not the interior. Oh. Interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. Why did it tell me that was where I was supposed to go then? The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. This one isn't. I don't know. Message for guessing those show up in my quest log and then let me talk to people back on the station. Which I'm probably just going to call the Citadel because I'm going to keep forgetting. Lock, I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what's happening. Yeah. Let's check out this relay tower. Sand storms, radiation. What the hell was that? Thinking, sending it. Yeah, because like any anything we saw from a scan for the Milky Way would have been at least. Look at this place. I mean, I assume the arcs moved the more than makes it difficult to cultivate life. the speed of light, right? Radiation. Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. And then because that took more than uh, the hundred, or more than the speed of light, and it still took 600 years, 
any, like, unless they sent out, no, they couldn't have sent out probes 1,200 years before that. Structure up ahead. But, yeah. um, it's yeah. Of a power relay station, like, any right. info we got right. would be at least 600 years old okay. before we sent the ships out. So, I mean, that's 1,200 years of, you know, possible changes. I'm just gonna, can I jump? I can't. Wish I'd remembered that over on the other places, because there might be stuff on the roofs up there. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people oh, there. Still, huh. I thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. Why can't we just wait till tomorrow? Well, maybe it's a good crazy. I mean... Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. I hope it's not terribly easy to make or to take falling There's damage. Manual input required. Damn it. Please Isn't that what I just did? To determine a hackable input location. Didn't I just scan this? Okay, all the little orange things are throwing me off. There's too many of them at once. In possibly the same place? And then different places, and I don't know. Really, Ryder? Uh, yeah, it's fast. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Wasn't I just there? Alright, marking them on the, um... Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it. Or the compass bar? When I... still... Like... And then having it marked out in the... Is kind of annoying. So, wait, this is the generator? I thought this was one of the pylons, is what it said. Why am I the only one wearing a helmet in a you know, dangerous environment? Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part time salvager. Tempest is a lot bigger inside than it is outside, apparently. Oh, I guess you have to scan it, then go up and mess with the top of it for some reason. The jump jet movement seems sloppy to me, but maybe it's just me being bad at it. These guys are called ships, I think.
about the cat. So that's not considered cover, huh? For activation, I'll find it. I guess maybe with all the enemies gone, it didn't count as necessary. Took down all those cat. Sure. Yeah, all five of them. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though, if that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet. I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Cobra RP. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sell all salvage. Confirm. Scope, whatever these are. What's the lithium do? Okay, so I guess there's crafting, huh? Okay, so salvage doesn't count against the item limit. Because I sold salvage, but it didn't change my, uh... Power restored. We should have number of held items. One now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. Hear that, guys? Put your helmets on. to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. You better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Viability. We can investigate the nearby buildings. Oh, okay. So if you raise the viability high enough, we can probably send colonists here. I wonder if that raises, uh, like, I wonder if that gives us resources or something. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay, I think I saw that in one of the... Uh... Demo. Or one of the... Not demos, one of the, um... Activating automated forward station deployment. Trailers. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading no crate access code. So did I get it? Because this is just, yeah, change the stuff I chose at the beginning of the mission. 
So I guess that gave me the code, even though I don't think it mentioned it. I actually liked the Mako in Mass Effect 1. I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion, but I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, so I found blueprints. Okay. No man should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Not for an unlimited time? Oh, great. Restoring all health ammo and power cells. I wish I could zoom out a little. Toggle mining computer? <laughs> so they put the Mako and the, like, planet scanning. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. Somebody It'll got up there. Why am I not doing six wheel drive to begin with? Uh, how do I do six wheel drive? It didn't say, as far as I can tell. Okay, so that turns the... that... oh. Radiation levels increasing. Okay, so right-click turns it on. But... Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. Hold if you to use, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Why would I not have six wheel drive on? Oh, it slows you down. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. So. Okay, looks like. Get out of here. Yeah, E. Little dust devil. That's a sniper rifle, yeah. Huh. So I can scan that cable, but not like... Or I can see the cable, but I can't scan it. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. <clears throat> it's working, but I'm just Spare getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start okay, up whatever that's helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis. It's working, but I'm just getting random oh. symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner and pathfinder. Oh, is this the one up. Scourge energy pocket. Oh. Interesting it doesn't hurt me when I walk through it. These shield masks are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. The outpost burned through a bunch of them. So it's up 
there, so I just climb up the outside, I guess. Someone's shuttle. Pretty banged up, but spaceworthy. I think I could scan each of these. Yeah. For some reason, I can scan that. But I didn't get anything for that. So let's stop before I annoy everyone watching. So I guess just... to carry heavy equipment up there. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else? Okay, let's solve this thing. That comes all the way up here. connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmospheric <laughs> processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Or I will push you down. Whoa, easy. You've come this far. TV Tropes uh -huh. calls that the crash into hello. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? Okay, so apparently that was know, an interrupt. I know. Who am it didn't say Renegade or Paragon. Obvious who you are. Saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope. I was rubbing my nose so I didn't have my hand on the mouse. <laughs> Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. She just called me fat. Wow, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. She's got a gun now. Oh, she didn't a second ago. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later, just take them out. Those things? Did I ever fight them? Keep targeting that one. They make a little bot. Guess that's why they're called assemblers, huh? have shields. Remnant Observer. Not bad. My first <clears throat> angle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. Oh, that's just what she but calls that's them. too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Mm, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation 
you're sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay, so there's three monoliths. She talked to him. Guess you have to get her out of her. Fascinating, huh? Okay. Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too? It's kind of weird. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? Do you need to ask? Kind of weird. It gives me the mouse <laughs> cursor. My own heart. But no. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Without letting me look around. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Weird. That's weird. It gave me something to scan, but then it didn't actually scan anything. Somebody shooting at something? And did the bots just disappear? Because I'm trying to get to scan at them. Looks like the bodies are gone. That's unfortunate. Oh, 40 minutes in. Well, let me go ahead and save. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you would. I will see you guys next time.